Hello everyone, this is Prayana. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we will learn about Roman numbers. The ancient Romans were used letters to write the numbers. We also use Roman numerals in some clocks. Here, these are the Hindu Arabic numbers which we use in our daily life and these are the Roman numerals. Now, let's understand the values of the letters used in this Roman numerals in terms of Hindu Arabic numbers. Here, the first row gives us the letters used in the Roman numerals and the second row gives us the value of Roman numerals in terms of Hindu Arabic number. Here, I is equal to 1, V is equal to 5, X is equal to 10, L is equal to 50, C is equal to 100, D is equal to 500 and M is equal to 1000. Okay, now let's understand the rules for writing the Roman numerals. Here, this is the first rule. The first rule says that if a symbol is repeated twice or thrice, its value is added as many times as it occurs. Means, which are symbols now I told you, those symbols if you write twice or thrice, the value of that symbol gets added at that many times. Now, let's understand this rule by example. Here, x. If x we write, then it is equal to 10. If we write 2 times x, means 10 plus 10 which is equal to 20. That means x x is equal to 20. Same way if we write x 3 times then it will become 10 plus 10 plus 10 which is equal to 13. Okay. Now let's see the second rule. The second rule says that symbol i x c and m cannot be repeated more than 3 times. Means these four symbols, I, X, C and M, we can't repeat it more than three times. Let's understand this by the example. Here, if we write I one time, which will equal to one. If we write I two times, then it will become two. If we write I three times, it will be equal to three. But if we write I 4 times, it will not be equal to 4. This method is wrong in terms because of this rule. In, uh, instead of writing I 4 times, we have to write I V and this will be correct. Okay. Now, let's understand the third rule. The third rule says that, Symbols V, L and D are never repeated. That is symbols for 5, 50 and 500 can't be repeated. In the previous rule we understand that I, X, C and M we can write till 3 times. We can write for 3 times. Um, we can repeat it for 3 times. But V, L and D we can't repeat only. Even for 2 times we can't repeat it. Okay. So, let's understand this by the example. Here, uh, while writing 10, we have to write x because x is equal to 10. But uh, uh, if we recall the first rule, it says that if we write in v, the value of v is 5u, then it must get added 5u plus 5u which is equal to 10. But because of this rule, this is wrong. And this one is correct. Okay. Now let's see the fourth rule. The fourth rule says that if a symbol of smaller value is written to the right of the symbol of higher value, we add the smaller value to the greater value. Okay. If we write the symbol of smaller value right of the symbol of higher value, then we have to add the smaller value to the greater value okay now let's understand this by the example here written xi the value of x is 10 and the value of i is 1 as per this rule i is written right of the higher value that means we have to add 10 plus 1 which will give you give us 11 
So x i is equal to 11. Let's take one more example. Here l x v. We know that l is equal to 50, x is equal to 10 and v is equal to 5. As per this rule, the x is written right to the higher value that is l. So we have to add these two values. And here also v is smaller than x and it is written right of the higher value. So here also we have to add. So the value of lxv is 65. Okay. Now let's take the next rule. Fifth rule says that if a symbol of smaller value is to the left of a symbol of higher value, we subtract the smaller value from the higher value. Means, if the smaller value is written left of the higher value, we have to subtract the smaller value from the higher value. In the previous rule, they said that if the smaller value is written right of the higher value, then we have to add it. Okay. So, let's understand this rule by the example. Here written xc. We know that x is equal to 10 and c is equal to 100. Now here x is smaller than c and it is written left of the c, left of higher value. So we have to subtract. So x is equal to 100 minus 10 which will give you the answer as 90. So x is equal to 90. Let's take one more example iv. Here i is equal to 1 and v is equal to 5. As per this rule, i is written uh, left of the higher value. So, we have to subtract. So, iv is equal to 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. Okay. Now, let's take one more uh, rule. The next rule. That is sixth rule says that the symbols v, l and d cannot be subtracted from any number. Okay. Means that we can't write v l and d these three symbols left of any higher symbol okay so let's understand this by example here if we have to write 90 we have two possibilities that is 100 minus 5 and one more possibility is 90 plus 5 okay if we talk about 100 minus 5 as we know that 100 is 100 is equal to c and 5 is equal to v now here we are subtracting so we have to write first v and then c okay here v is equal to 5 and c is equal to 100 as per this rule this method is wrong okay now let's see if we have to write 95 as 90 plus 5 as we don't have the symbol for 90 then let's split it again as 100 minus 10 and then plus 5 as 100 minus 10 is different expression we will put it in the bracket now to write 100 minus 10 we know that 100 is equal to c and 10 is equal to x as here we are subtracting we have to write x to the left of c so xc and then we are adding 5 so we will write v to the right of the uh, c okay so here x gives 10, c is 100 and v is 5. We are adding 5. We are writing a right of the higher value. So this method is correct. Okay. Now let's see the next rule. The next rule, seventh rule says that the symbol i can be subtracted from v and x only. Means we can write i to the left of v or x we can't write i to the left of any other symbol okay so there are only possibly two possibilities those are i v is equal to 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 and i x is equal to 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9 uh, and one more rule which is related to this only that is the symbol x can be subtracted from L, C and M only. Okay. As I we can subtract from V and X. Same way X can be subtracted only from L, C and M. So there are only three possibilities. Those are XL which is equal to 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40. 
and xc which is equal to 100 minus 10 which is equal to 19 xm is equal to 1000 minus 10 which is equal to 900 okay now uh, here we end up the rules of the roman numbers now we will solve some sums related to the roman numbers from the textbook of cbsc and crt mathematics of grade 6 okay so let's move on page number 25 you have the question as write in roman numerals the missing numbers in the table in your textbook they have given some roman numerals and they uh, didn't write all the roman numerals from 1 to 100 and they have told us to write the missing numbers so what i did here here i have given um, roman numbers from 1 to 100 so you can go through it here i have given all the numbers from 1 to 100 in roman numbers as well as in hindu arabic numbers so that you will understand okay now let's solve the second question here the second question x x x x v x i c x v v are not written in that table we didn't wrote these four numbers can you tell why means we have to tell here the reason okay so let's write the reason the first one is x x x x why we didn't wrote this x x x x because of the rule number two the rule number two says that symbol i x c and m cannot be repeated more than three times and here x is written for four times so we didn't use this number okay now let's see the second one that is v x we didn't wrote v x because of the rule number six it says that the symbols v l and d cannot be subtracted from any number as v is written left of the x that is higher value so it should be get subtracted but in this rule they have told that we can't subtract v l and d so this is wrong next is next comes i c we didn't use i c because of the rule number seven it says that the symbol i can be subtracted only from v and x and here they are subtracting from c so this is also wrong next comes x v v because of rule number three we didn't use this number because the rule number three says that symbols v l and d are never repeated and here v is repeated for two times so this is also the wrong now let's see the next question here we have the try this column and in that they have told us to write these numbers in roman numerals okay so let's write just remember that whenever you have a number in hindu arabic number and you have to convert it into the roman numerals then first you have to split that number so let's take the first one 73 let's split it 73 is equal to 70 plus 3 but we don't have any symbol for 70 so again we will split it as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 okay so we have the symbol for 50 we have the symbol for 10 and we have the symbol for 3 as we will write i for three times okay so let's write for 50 it is l for 10 it is x and for 10 again x and then for 3 it is i i i so the number 73 is equal to l x x i i i okay now let's see the for second that is 92 let's split it 92 is equal to 90 plus 2 we don't have the any symbol for 90 so let's again split it as 100 minus 10 plus 2 okay as we have to subtract 100 from uh, 10 from 100 so we have the uh, symbol for 100 it is c and for 10 it is x and for 2 it is i i as we have to subtract we have to write the smaller value left of the higher value so 
it will become x c i i so 92 is equal to x c i i we will end up here the today's video if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye everyone